What's up guys, it's Denadon here, and today I am taking a look at Star Citizen, where I decided to do some viewing of the ships I've got in my hangars, to kind of give you guys an idea of what they look like in case you're interested in getting them. So, we're starting off with the Selfland hangar, which is the replacement for the former Discount hangar. This one is what you get when you get any of the basic starting ships, so including the Aurora. So if we scroll up here, you will see I have an Aurora LN in front of me. Whoops, just got to get the camera right. I am using an Xbox controller for this, simply because of the smoother movement. So, the Aurora LN, or the RSI Aurora LN, the Legionnaire, which is what this is, is basically a militia or combat version of the basic Aurora. So, it's got, as you can see here, the additional guns up the top there, it's got the missile racks, and it's got these nice weapons out the front here, which, if you look at how they're mounted, you see they sort of stick out in a bow like that, they to me always look as if this ship is flexing. I don't know why, it just looks like that to me. But as we move on, you'll see it's got this nice cockpit here. It's not the fanciest cockpit because it's not the fanciest ship, but I do rather like how it looks because, I don't know, it's got the very functional and practical look to it. And the commercial that came with the Aurora's, like, what, almost a year ago now, was quite good as well. So if we move over here, I'm going to ignore that for the moment. You can see we've got the extra intakes for the engines, you've got the nice guns on the mounts there. If we move around, this is all your radiators, the landing gear down there. Now if I move around, whoops, don't hit the ship, we've got the engines there, and if we crouch, this is the area where if you've got a cargo pod it'll sort of slot into here, but obviously this doesn't have one at the moment, though you supposedly can't fit one. And then there's that little box there, that is where your head sits when you use the bed, which is basically the coffin I will show you before. So let's just move around, and you can see also in the background here, a bit of the hangar, it does look rather nice. It's not my favourite hangar, but it is certainly one of the most atmospheric in my opinion. But moving along, just move past here, you can see it's basically the same on either side. And yeah, so that's the rear bit now, let's go inside, so let's open it up and take a look. So let's get in, a bit of a teleport, but that's okay. So yeah, this is the basic entry point, you can see there's not a lot of room. Yep, oh, camera's a bit spazzy there, got a danger sign there, that's the cockpit. Which, you can see, it's quite nicely detailed for what it is. An ejection seat of some kind, although you can't actually eject from the Aurora at the moment. So I don't know what that's exactly for. Unless that's maybe just an oxygen bottle, I don't know. Now, can we get through here? Oh, no, we can't get through there. I'm going to leave that before we hurt someone. Um, but yeah, behind here, see that in there? If I crouch, that is your bed. In this ship, your bed is just this little coffin bit in the back there. Which you may like, you may not like, I don't know. But let's just get in the cockpit seat, so find the user spot, yep, slide along. Bit of clipping through the chair, a oh, very shiny joystick there, but that's okay I suppose. Look at him turning on the non-existent systems at the moment. Now, because I haven't put the helmet on, I'm not getting the arena commander stuff popping up, which is good because I didn't really want that to show for the video. But, you can see, it's quite decent view in this ship. A bit bit of flickering on the texture there, and I'm going through... Ooh, that, that looks painful. That really looks painful, actually. How do you do that with your neck? <laughs> but yeah, see, it's got quite good view for what it is. And that's one of my favourite things about this ship, is it's just so good with the view inside. You can see pre pretty much everywhere around you. So... That's basically the cockpit, and let's just get out of it now, and we'll go have a look one more time at the outside. Uh, clip around the chair again, that's no problem. And actually, what I could do, we've got some sort of things there, I don't know what they are, maybe that's where you put the ammunition for the guns or something. I don't know, but if we hit the insert, whoops, we're inside the ship. And if I hit it again, we can have a look around the outside of the Aurora in a bit more detail. So you can see we've got the missiles that are facing backwards at the moment, so it is kind of shooting itself in the engine there. That's probably not advisable. 
Uh, you've got the overdrive engine there, which was featured in the commercial, which is quite nice. I like that intake. And I like the colour scheme on the Aurora LN as well. It kind of reminds me of the Aussie green and gold. So, of course, I'm going to like that. But, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much a standard Aurora. And if you're only interested in putting a basic backing, then 45 dollars will get you the basic ship it won't get you this one but that is simply because I put a little bit extra for this one and I got it as standalone as well but anyway that was the Aurora LN I am Denodon safe landings